Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson in which the most I willing Yahweh Shemiah Shaira Tazar, I'm going to go a little deeper tomorrow when I'm out on the street. So this is the book of Numbers chapter 13. I'll read from verse 32. So to just give you an insight, um, some people were chosen to go spy out the the promised land, okay? And majority of them, all of them actually came back with bad reports. Only Caleb and um and Joshua came with a good report. And through the spirit, you know, this is what we're doing this day because you know we're spying out, we are all spies spying out the 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 promised land. And how are we spying out the promised land? We do that by, by, by these words, by the scriptures, man. You know, we're spying out the land through the scriptures because the scriptures tells you, you know, it gives you a glimpse of what the kingdom is going to be. You know, the roads are going to, pave, going to be paved with gold, with precious stones. You know, um, our children are going to play with crocodiles and play with lions and, you know, Lots of beautiful things are going to happen. We're going to have all the people that have taken us captives. We're going to take them captives, you know. So we spying out the, the, the promised land through the scriptures. And this scripture is actually, you know, available to, to, to everybody. It's the, it's the most available book you can find out there as the Bible. But some people are reading it and coming out with some bad um, reports, you know, saying, oh, oh no, um, um and they, they uh, uh, <laughs> i don't even know what to say people are coming with diff all different kinds of madness man they say everyone can be saved no we're going to have edomites in the kingdom we're going to have uh, edomites ruling alongside with us you know we're going to have all the nations coming together and becoming israel you know bringing all different kinds of bad reports but those through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Oshai, who has been given the Holy Spirit to understand the scriptures, they come in with the with a good report, you know, starting from the elder apostle Taha and the teachers that were before him, you know, then following the rest of the apostles, the elders, the teachers, you know, we bring in good reports. Let me read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse, um, I'll start from verse 32. It says, And they brought an evil report. Of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own uh, and we and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers and so we were in their sight. And this bad report that these men brought is all lies, man, you know. Because if you go read the report of, um, of Joshua and Caleb, they didn't tell you that they were, they were Anaks, you know, giants. They didn't tell you all these things. They told you differently. And which we're going to expound in a lesson I'll do tomorrow outside Yaba Shemiah Shaira Taza, you know. But you don't want to be like these people coming with bad reports, just like they're bringing bad reports today that we're wasting our time, you know, following these scriptures, following this truth, we're wasting our time. These are bad reports, you know? Hey, you're wasting your time. You're meant to face your careers. You're meant to, 
you know, bringing all bad reports. So because they preferred to stay in um in Egypt, they preferred Egypt. You know, just like the lesson um, I brought out um was the day before yesterday. You know, speaking about how um how we were being saved from Egypt, and you know, right from just right after we came out from Egypt, the people were already complaining that it was better that they were in Egypt. You know, so lots of people. They, they read this Bible, they don't interpret it the right way. They're coming with the, the wicked reports, man, because deep in their hearts, they don't believe the kingdom of heaven is coming, which is going to be run by our Savior, Yahweh Shai. They don't believe that, you know? So you see, this is this is bad reports when they tell you reports like, uh, like oh, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, they're... they're they are a terror gang, they are this, they are that, they are bad, you know, saying all kinds of wickedness that we rape children, we do this, we do that. They are bringing all different kinds of bad reports. And excuse me, um, majority of the Hebrew Israelite camps out there are bringing these bad reports as well, you know. When, 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 when they slander us, you know, saying that we rape children and all that thing, we teach doctrines of raping kids and all that thing, you know, it's all slander, that's bad reports. Because this report is going to scare the rest of the people away from getting to know the truth. You see? So we really need to be careful the reports we're actually given, spying out that land. Because we're spying out the kingdom of heaven through the scriptures. You know? And guess what? The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai destroyed all that generation that brought the bad report. As a matter of fact, let look, let's look out the word report. It says the bow. It says whispering, defamation, evil reports, defamation. Let's look at that word defamation. Look up. It says libel, the action of damaging the good reputation of someone, slander or libel. And that's that's exactly what they do to Great Millstone, you know. We teach what the, the scriptures say. They, 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 they turn it all around, you know, because they are ashamed of the gospel. Because the gospel tells you on how to handle different situations. It also teaches you of how to handle rape, you know. And we teach it how the scriptures tell it, you know. But we get all slanders, all different kinds of slander, bad name, defamation, you know. Here it says, evil reports, unfavorable sayings. So you see, all the Hebrew Israelite camps out there, you know, saying all these things against um, Great Millstone. They are all guilty of bad reports. And if they don't change and repent, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to destroy them, just like it destroyed this generation of the wicked in the in the wilderness. They were supposed it was supposed to take 40 days, but the most high made it take 40 years, man. And that 40 years in that wilderness is the time we're about to get into, you know? In which each minute the most high is going to make it look like an hour, man. Because of scarcity of food, because of scarcity of water, because of all hell breaking loose. And the only people that are going to be comforted in these times are going to be the people with the right reports. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to protect them, you know. Let me quickly get the book of um, Numbers 32-13 and I'll close on this lesson. I will expand more in the lesson that I'll be teaching outside tomorrow, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Ratazah. So this is the book of Numbers, chapter 32, verse 13. It says, And Yahweh's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness for 40 years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai was consumed. You know? So you see, the generation of all those people that are in disbelief, of this truth that we're teaching that are calling us different names you know defamation that are walking hand in hand with esau to bring us down vocab melon you know all these people the most high yahaba shimmy is going to cut you up man you know judgment is coming for you you know you can do everything you like to do now you know it's your time but it's days are coming in which we would start laughing at you so you don't want to be a part of this people that came with the bad reports you know, each man in this truth needs to walk with fear and trembling, you know. Because if you know the true nature of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai, you would fear him. 
and you will walk righteously. So, hey, I'm going to stop here. As I said, I would expand more on this lesson and in the street teaching tomorrow. Yahaba Shimia Oshaira Taza. So hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahaba Shimia Oshai. Onto the next one. Shalom.